inside a stunning new pressure campaign as President Trump tries to overturn his election defeat. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes. NBC News obtained the full audio from an hour-long Saturday phone call with the president, Trump advisors, and Georgia election officials. I think you have to say that you're going to re-examine it. Exerting the influence of the presidency, Mr. Trump leaned on Republican Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger to announce a reversal of certified Georgia results from Biden to Trump. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. Raffensperger refused. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. In another tense exchange, the president pushed a conspiracy theory that a voting machine company tampered with ballots, even suggesting state officials hid illegal activity. Now, do you think it's possible that they uh, shredded ballots in uh, Fulton County? Because that's what the rumor is. And also that Dominion took out machines. Uh, that Dominion is really moving fast to get rid of their uh, machinery. Do you know anything about that? Georgia lawyer Ryan Germany shot that down. No, Dominion has not um, moved any machinery out of Fulton County. We're having well, but, no, but, uh, but have they moved the inner parts of the machines and replaced them with other parts? No. Are you sure, Ryan? I'm sure. The president threatened that Georgia officials could face legal trouble themselves. You know what they did, and you're not reporting it. That's a criminal. That's a criminal offense. That's a big risk to you and to Ryan, your lawyer. That's a big risk. Piling on partisan guilt. You should want to have an accurate election. And you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I know you don't. Tonight, a Biden senior advisor described the call as irrefutable proof of a president pressuring and threatening an official of his own party to get him to rescind a state's lawful certified vote count and fabricate another in its place. And Kelly's with us. There's an update on the effort by some Republicans to challenge the election in Congress this week. Well, what we know is there are groups of Trump loyalists who do plan to stage their protest, and it might be a spectacle. But now we know they do not have enough numbers to overturn the result, because enough Senate Republicans have publicly stated they will affirm Joe Biden as the next president. Kate? Let's have trial by combat. I'm willing to stake... I'm willing to stake my reputation, the president is willing to stake his reputation on the fact that we're going to find criminality there. So that was Rudy Giuliani at a Trump rally today saying he wants trial by combat to prove that Donald Trump remains president, should remain president for the next four years. And this is bonkers, guys. But I'll tell you one thing. He probably wasn't even the craziest person at that rally today, nor even the craziest person that got...